So welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to talk about some Boolean tips and tricks that I use for 3D printing. And the Booleans um, essentially just mean like adding and subtracting objects together. You can also intersect and slice things. But today we're just going to be talking about subtracting objects from other objects, like these holes here. So notice, uh, just go ahead and grab one of your spheres here. And then we're going to go into our Bool tool. Um, so go to Edit. And if you don't see them, they're usually twiddled up right here. So just hit bool tool. And if you don't have that there, just go to edit preferences and under add-ons, just type in bool and make sure you have object bool tool checked. And that will make this appear here. So I want to show you the difference between the auto Boolean and the brush Booleans again. Uh, so if we did an auto Boolean difference and click on that, so just click auto Boolean difference and watch what happens to your sphere here. Bloop. It will cut out that geometry, uh, but it's kind of locked in. You know, it's um, it's kind of baked into our cheese wedge here. And if we go into edit mode, notice you know it's actually part of our our geometry, and we're kind of stuck with that. Uh, so let's just go back into object mode and do Control Z to undo that. So just keep hitting Control Z until um, your sphere comes back like that. And so that's one way to do a boolean. And I don't really recommend using auto booleans unless you're doing it for a very specific reason. Uh, what I recommend is always using brush booleans. So watch what happens if we hit brush boolean difference. Bloop. So it still did the same effect, but we got this nice uh, bounding box that appeared. And if we click on our cheese wedge and go into edit mode, notice our geometry is still exactly how we started. But if we tab back into object mode, it is subtracted. And if we grab the bounding box, we can hit G and move it around and get a different look if we uh, so desire. And that's what I mean by being a flexible designer is always being able to, you know, come back and make changes on the fly. Or if a client wants a change, or if you want to change, uh, you can easily do that. So now let's go ahead and Boolean all of these holes out of our cheese wedge. So one way to do that is just go into your layers here. I'm gonna sl slide this down so we can kind of see here. And we've got all these different holes. Uh, maybe let's twiddle up our studio, get some space here. So let's select all of our, our holes here. Just click on the top hole and then hold shift and click on the last one. And we don't need this one because we've already done it. So just hold shift and Click on that twice, and that should deselect it. Notice it's not highlighted anymore, uh, and it's also deselected in our layers. And then, so we have every single one of our holes selected, um, and now we hold Shift and click on the object we want to you know, subtract from. So in this case, it's our cheese wedge. So just Shift click on the cheese wedge. And we could come over here and do Brush Boolean Difference, but I like to do it with my keyboard, and you can do that with Control minus on the numpad. Bloop. And notice some of them worked and some of them didn't. And I wanted to show you this because sometimes Booleans in Blender can be a little tricky or just Booleans in, in any software. So what's going on here is that some of these, these objects are like kind of like mathematically not able to do a Boolean operation or, you know, subtract from the mesh here. So in Blender, sometimes you have to grab the objects and just nudge them ever so slightly. So just hit G and just barely move it. Um, sometimes it can be helpful to turn on your little widget when you're very new to uh, 3D. You can take these little gizmos, these colorful gizmos, and just grab on the actual arrows like this and just barely nudge it. And that usually will, you know, pop the uh, geometry enough just to get the operation to go through. So just click on this. And another thing you can do too, there's little squares in between all the arrows that will slide it in the, you know, X and Y at the same time. Like if I grab that one, it will just slide it around on the floor. So that's pretty cool too. So just go ahead and make any adjustments on your, your cheese wedge here. Maybe bring it down just a little bit and just kind of play with, you know, what's going on. There we go. And just maybe push this one in. And sometimes the snapping can um, mess with this. So just hit shift tab or turn your snapping off. And that may help you just barely nudge things. That way Blender's not trying to snap things for you. 
in ways you're not trying to, uh, you know, want them snapped. And then we'll just do our last ones here. There we go. So just kind of take a look all around your object. Make sure all the booleans that you placed are, you know, looking how you want and just make any adjustments um, however you feel. And this is looking pretty awesome. You can even toggle on and off your, your overlays right here, This little these little two spheres. And that will take off these wireframes. And you can kind of get a good look at uh, your object here. I'm going to go back to my select selection tool with uh, W. And looky there, we've got a really cool 3D printable cheese wedge. But um, let's turn our, our overlays back on. Notice if I click on the cheese wedge and hit G to move it, all the booleans you know, kind of disappear or kind of move around. And that's because they're not linked together. So just hit escape. And what we want to do is parent our, our holes to the cheese wedge. And an easy way to do that is just click on the hole over here in your layers, shift click on the bottom one, and then click and drag those on top of your cheese wedge and then hold shift. And notice when you hold, when you tap, hit shift, it'll say drop to set parent. And when you let go, they'll all go inside of the cheese wedge. So if I twiddle down, notice they're all inside there. And now if you click and grab your cheese wedge and hit G to move it, everything is gonna stay together like a little family. And you can also see these little dotted lines that are connecting to our origin point of our cheese wedge. And that's just showing you the relationship, you know, like all of these little boxes are parented to this cheese wedge origin. And if you can't see those, it's in your overlays, just hit this drop down and uh, make sure your relationship lines are turned on. And that will show you, you know, how everything is connected. And let's say, hey, maybe we want to add um, some more geometry. Uh, we could click on one of these boxes, hit shift D and kind of, you know, bring uh, something over here. But notice it's like, it's not subtracting. Even though we, we duplicated a subtractive, uh, you know, sphere here, it's not doing what we want it to. Uh, but that's okay. It is still a sphere. So if we go into edit mode, it is a sphere. Uh, but we need to just add a bool tool operation. So just shift click on the cheese wedge. You know, make sure you have that that invisible um, sphere selected first, and then shift click on the wedge, and then do control minus. And there you go. Now you've got another one, and you can tell by the relationship line that it's also parented to our cheese wedge. So this is looking really cool. Hopefully your cheese wedge has some really cool uh, holes in it. Um, and let's go ahead and jump into the next lesson where I'm gonna show you how to prepare this for 3D printing.